Hey guys, Kevin here. It's been around 10 days since I showed you my HP ZBook G3. This is an absolute beast of a laptop. It's very powerful and it's got a quad-core CPU which is really helping with video editing. Another thing I really love about this is the fact that it's got a healthy number of ports. I'm coming from the Surface Pro 4 which only had a headphone jack, a mini display port and a USB 3 port. What that meant in practice is that whenever I had to connect a few different things, I had to use a USB hub. That is not something that is necessary with the G3. On the one side it has a security lock, an Ethernet port, a regular USB 3 port, a charging USB 3 port and an SD card reader. On the other side you have a headphone jack, another USB 3 port, an HDMI 1.4 port, two Thunderbolt 3 ports and a power port. Announced earlier this year, Thunderbolt 3 uses a USB Type-C cable that can deliver 40 gigabytes of data and power up to 100 watts. The one cable can be used to power two 4K monitors. That's insane and I'm really lucky that these two ports are included on my laptop. When you look at the figures of Thunderbolt 3, you start to understand the significance of this protocol. It's twice as quick as Thunderbolt 2, four times as quick as Thunderbolt 1, but if you go back a little bit further and go into USB 2, which is still in lots of laptops and devices, it's more than 80 times as quick. What that means in practice is that Thunderbolt 3, using one cable, can power multiple monitors, hard drives, backup drives, lots of other devices, webcams, a lot. At the moment, there aren't too many Thunderbolt 3 accessories, but that's going to change very quickly over the next few months. There's a Thunderbolt 3 port in the new MacBook Pro and in the Dell XPS 13 and 15, and we're going to see it introduced into a lot of new devices and laptops and computers over the next coming months and over the next year. It will become the standard in the future. Whether you like it or not, USB Type-C is coming and it's coming hard. And I, for one, I'm very, very thankful for it. I think it's going to really change how we look at computing. You know, instead of having one desktop, you might want to change to a laptop that powers two monitors, that kind of thing. There's a lot of possibilities with this, you know, as far as hard drives and monitors and how you change the way that you operate. And I think it's going to be very, very interesting. I've included a few links below about Thunderbolt 3, so please do check them out if you want to learn more about the protocol. If you have any questions, please do leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer them. And until next time, thanks for watching.